Micro animations can make simple hover effects so much more interesting. I'm going to hover over this button, it changed color, but did you notice the icon? It disappears and then slides into view. And that little bit of a micro animation makes this so much better than just changing the color. So how do we do this? This is your standard elemental button. You know, go and drop in your links, go and do your styling. Now I'm going to keep this really simple. We have added in an icon. And by the way, what I'm going to show you, the CSS we're going to add is what controls the special animation. So we've gone and set an icon and I've gone for like the arrow inside of a circle and the position on the styling side of things. You go and set your color for your normal and your hover. So that's where we're getting the change from the global reddish color to the global purple color. And then in the advanced tab, I've given it a class name of reloop hyphen icon. You got to do that because otherwise we don't want this to affect other icons or other buttons that you have on your website. Remember, this is something you could do to your website just to make it a bit more interesting without flooding it with too many entrance animations and things that might make your website look a little bit messy especially when you get to mobile. So let's go and have a look at this code. This code or a copy of it will be in the video description. Reloop item. So if you go and pop in your own class name, please make sure you change that. You gotta have elemental button icon because it needs to know what part of the elemental button it's touching. You know, you have classes within classes. So what we're basically saying is I want 0.8 seconds. So if you wanna make it quicker, go ahead. You want to make it longer, that might not be too much of a good idea, but I find 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8 are the sweet spot. If you want to change the values, you can do that over here in terms of how it disappears and appears. Let me clarify that for you. Translate X 10 pixels. So when I hover over it, you notice it moves 10 pixels uh, to the right before it disappears. If I was to go and change this to be a minus 10 instead, it now moves backwards. So you kind of get a better understanding of that. But what about if I want it to slide downwards? So I'm going to change the X to be a Y. So now it slides down. And if you were to do minus 10, it would actually slide up. Let's pop that back over to X. And what about when it appears? So at the moment, it's on minus 10. So it comes in from the left. If I was to change that to be 10 instead, it now comes in from the right hand side to the left. You got to get your head around this and you will start to understand this a little bit better. And if we just change this to be a Y minus 10, you'll now see it slides down. If I had set that to be translate Y 10, it would come from the bottom. Can you have translate X and translate Y? You can do. You just got to make sure you just take a copy of that, stick it below after the semicolon, and then you can have the Y as well. Let's pop that back to how it was so you can flex this to work for you in terms of how you want it to move. And like I said, these little micro animations can make quite a difference, especially for your call to action buttons or on your hero banner. Copy of this code will be in the video description. Don't forget the class name. I'm Imran from Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon.